so you're hungry. Well, me too. So you should probably get some food. Hey guys, I'm my test bike. I'm Kai, and today we're back once again taking a look at how to make an image blink or animate an image to make it look like it blinks. Now, I want to do some more animating and image videos in Blender because it's really fun and it's really cool. But for today, we'll do something simple. We'll start off with just blinking. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to hit, um, uh, I'm just going to click, uh, click and drag a box over top of everything in our scene and then hit delete on my keyboard to get rid of all that because we don't need it. I'm going to select our camera by left clicking it and hit Alt G and Alt R to clear the rotation and the location. Um, then hit R X. And then on your numpad, 9, 0. And then left click to confirm that. Then hit GY and move your camera backwards like that. Left click to confirm and hit 0 to go into the camera's view. Nice. With that done, let's hit um, uh, this little button up here that says edit and go to preferences. And now that'll open up this preferences box and make sure when you type in this little box here, uh, search for image, image. Now you need to make sure this is checked on. So import images as planes is checked on um, or else you won't be able to, to do this. So go ahead and close that out. Hit shift A and search for an image. Images is planes and this will open up a little dialogue where you can uh, select an image here. Um, so now what we're going to do is we're going to look for the picture that we need to open. So I'm going to go to my downloads. I'm going to scroll. I'm going to scroll on down here. <laughs> And we're going to go ahead and grab this bad boy right here, which is uh, The Weeknd. I'm going to hit Import Images as Planes. And I'm, I'm, I'm going to turn on Emit for this just so it's super easy. See a little croissant there. It's pretty sweet. Not going to lie. Um, so once that's done, you go ahead and you can go ahead and hit um, hit the Import Images as uh, Planes uh, a little bit here. Now you can see when we open this up and go to the Material tab. Material tab. There we go. The, there we go. Nice. You can see the image there. Uh, the picture of the weekend. Nice. So hit S to scale this image up like that all the way to the edge of the camera. Make sure that you have it all in the camera's view. You see it's not all the way to the edge. Hit S again. Move it up until it exceeds the camera's borders. Nice. With that done, we can now go ahead and start to animate the eyeballs. So what we're going to do is hit Tab to go into edit mode and then right click on your mouse and hit subdivide. And we're going to do this a couple times until we have enough vertices where we're able to move the uh, the eye individually. So let's go ahead and hit subdivide a couple more times until we have a enough, which I think yeah, that might be good like this. We could do something like that, but this this should be fine for right now. If you want to go super de detailed with it, then you can do the next step up, which would be this. But that is uh, probably overkill. So let's go ahead. Now with this done, I'm going to hit tab to go back out of edit mode here. I'm going to go to this tab right here, which is the object data tab. And we're going to uh, hit this little shape keys button twice. So boom, boom. Nice. We have basis and I'm going to, I'm going to call key one. I'm going to re double click it and rename it to eyes or we can do uh, blink actually blink. There we go. Nice. Um, so with this blink selected hit tab. All right. So with that done, I'm going to go ahead and now you can see, we can actually go ahead and grab these pieces that we have along here. And we, what we can do is we can actually make them look as if they're moving. So what we're going to do is because when you blink, um, you typically uh, bring your, 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 your upper eyelid down um, and not like your, your bottom one up. We're going to go ahead and grab these pieces. Uh, what it like... Uh, that should be fine. Yeah, we'll, we'll hit G and we'll, we'll kind of slide all this down. So it's going to look a little strange uh, when we first start out. Do not worry. It's going to look a little strange. We'll pull that up a little bit. Pull this down. Pull this down. And then we'll, gotta, we'll, we'll go ahead and kind of... We can subdivide this again if we need to. So what we're going to do actually is I'm going to subdivide this again. So like I said, you might need some more uh, more subdivisions. So let's go ahead and do something like this. So as long as you have some, some vertices along the the eyelid, you should be good to go. So let's go ahead and pull all this down here. We'll start with this row first and we'll pull this down like that. I don't want to see much white of the eyes, but I don't want to get rid of all of the whites of the eyes either. So we'll go ahead and pull all that down. Something super simple like that. And this is the kind of thing you would do for like an animated, um, like album cover or something that I've seen a lot of these in recent times. And I really think these are pretty, pretty, uh, pretty darn cool. Um, so let's go ahead and pull that there, pull that there and just, oh, and just pull this, uh, down as far as you can get it. Something like that little stretchy stretch. And we'll kind of smooth that down. 
and we'll kind of arc that there we go so now you can see oh, now you can see we do have a little bit of the white left so we can pull up uh some of this on the bottom because your bottom eyelid does move a bit a little tiny bit um like i said i want to get, get i don't want to get rid of all of the um whites of the eyes i just kind of want to squish it in there because when you blink your eye doesn't usually fully close all of the way so so let's go ahead and, let's go ahead and pull that like that this like this there we go. Nice. So when we take a look at this and we slide this value slider, you can see that his eyelid will close like that, which looks super creepy with just one of them. What we're going to do, though, is we're going to do the other one and it won't be as uh, creepy. So I'm going to do this one really quickly and I shall be right back, ladies and gentlemen. All right. So now what we've done is I've done both eyes and when we slide this value slider, you can see his eyes will close. And then open when we put it back to zero. So now what we're going to do to animate this is we're going to open up our timeline a little bit. I'm going to start on the zero frame because starting the first frame annoys me. We're going to go to the zero frame here. And I'm going to hover my cursor over top of the value slider and hit I on our keyboard. I'm going to move ahead just a couple frames, nothing too crazy. And maybe it's like frame eight. And then we'll slide it all the way up to one. Hover my cursor over top of value, hit I. And then we'll go a little bit of frames away somewhere about right there and then we'll put it all the way back down to zero hold my cursor over top of value and hit i to insert a keyframe and now when we play this you can see he blinks and then it slowly comes back open now that's a little too slow i'm actually i'm actually going to go to um output properties and change the frame rate to 60 as well and now when we play as you can see it's a little bit faster there we go um now what i want to do here is um there we go. Now, what I want to do here is uh, get down maybe some kind of rhythm for this. Instead of having him just blinking once, I'll kind of select, uh, drag a box over top of all three of these keyframes, hit Shift D on my keyboard, and just kind of move them over to duplicate them. It's about there. It seems like a good blinking spot. Nice. So now when we uh, play this, he blinks there, and then he blinks again. Nice. So that's basically uh, how I uh, make images blink in Blender. It's super easy. Like I said, I do want to do more animating images um, uh, videos because they're very cool and they're very, very simple to do. So I hope you ladies and gentlemen enjoyed today's tutorial. I will see you in the next one. But until then, bye bye.